With Toast Titanium, you can easily create high-quality video discs that can be played back on a DVD player, Blu-ray player, or a drive in just a few quick steps. To begin, select a video project type from the drop-down menu. If you're not sure which type to pick, try starting a new project from the Assistant, found in the File menu. In the Assistant, we can select the project type that best describes what we want to create. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a DVD video project, and click Finish to go back to the main window. To add videos to the disk, simply drag and drop them from the media browser found on the right, from the Finder, or by clicking the Add button at the bottom of the Content window. Now that I have files in the project, I can start organizing the disk. First, let's name this DVD. Next, to change the video order, I'll simply drag and drop files to swap them around. And I can also rename files for the exported video, without affecting the original content. To change the thumbnail image, simply select a video file and use the slider that appears to scrub through the video footage until you find an image you want displayed. We can also cut and trim each of our files. We can use the two crop markers here to adjust the start and end points of our video. And if we have any unwanted portions somewhere else in the video, you can click on the Add Markers button and add another pair of crop markers. Note that aside from dragging these handles, we can enter an exact value at the start and end fields in the bottom. Over in the Chapters tab of this dialog, we can set up automatic chapters by setting a time interval or manually adding them ourselves. To do that, just click on any point in the timeline and click the plus button. Lastly, we have audio filters. Here we can apply up to three audio filters per video. Simply select a filter from the drop-down list and make adjustments below. In addition to the many default filters, any installed third-party audio filters will also be available here. That's all there is to it. When we click OK, all of our changes are saved. Selecting the AU button in the content area is another way to quickly apply and edit audio filters to each of our videos. Now that the DVD is organized the way I want, let's check out the Options panel. Here you can select a menu style, the video quality, and apply additional disk settings. I'm going to customize this DVD menu. Let's change the menu title and change the background image. Clicking OK will apply these changes. Below the content area, we have a gauge that shows how much disk space this project will take, based on the current disk type selected. Next, we can select a disk recorder to burn our DVD, or create a disk image to preview the DVD prior to burning the actual disk. Finally, select the number of copies you want to create, insert a blank disk, and press burn. In no time, you'll be able to view your video project on a disk player, and enjoy the show.